Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series. And this week we're going to be covering Sun in the 10th house for a Gemini Ascendant person. And what happens when Sun is in the 10th house for a Gemini Ascendant person? Now, this is different from my other series, right? This is not just Sun in particular sign or Sun is only in a house. Now we're combining two things together. We're combining the 10th house with Pisces, where Sun is in the 10th house. For Gemini Sun people, but now Sun also rules the third house. So third Lord is in the 10th house. So all of these things are now mashing up together. How do you understand these things? Well, that's where I come in. That's where the Houdini comes in. And as always, if you do not know where your Sun is placed, where your other planet replacements are, so you can check back regarding the meaning of them on my channel. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, astrology, conjunction, and aspects at the speed of light, including all my consultations at this link here. So. Sun in the 10th house in the sign of Pisces for Gemini Sun in person. What happens? Well, as you know, Sun rules the third house with its fixed sign of Leo. It's a very fixed sign. It loves to be fixed on things. It wants to be routine on things. But now the third Lord, Sun, is in the 10th house in a movable sign. I mean, not movable, dual sign of Pisces. Dual natured. So what is the third house, first of all, that Leo represents? And Leo is a very dynamic sign. It's a, it's a sign of like being on a throne, regal, royal, arts, media, flash. Third house represents arts, media, creativity, skills of hand, siblings, information, journalism, marketing, media, travel. Tenth house is obviously your reputation, your work environment. So what is happening now? Well, these people, first of all, if you understand, if you have this position, your younger siblings will be very successful in their life. Because of your placement, it gives us a clue that they will be successful. Also, you will have great creative skills of hands. Because third house represents skills of hands. It's in the 10th house of career. You will, for your career, you're going to be using your skills of hands. Whether it's somebody who's a pianist, somebody who is um, a writer, somebody who's an um, architect, somebody who designs things. Because see, Pisces is a sign of imagination. And Sun here shows that your work environment, your personality will have to be in a creative environment for you to flourish. You have to be in a place where you're using your imagination and your skills of hands are being used in your career for you to flourish. And you will see as a Gemini ascendant person, Gemini is all about communication. It's all about writing. It's about all about marketing. It's all about, you know, just, just using your intellectual ideas to create things, whether with your hands or imagination. So this is why for Gemini ascendant person, this is a very important position to realize that this person will do far better in a creative environment. This person will do far better in an imaginative environment than in some dry environment. Even if you are... I've hardly ever seen anybody who's a lawyer with these positions, you know, but if you are in even in a profession of law, you need to use your imagination, meaning you can become like a criminal attorney who uses their imagination to do things. It's not just about logic. This is not about logic. This, this son is not about logic. This son is about the imaginative side where, you know, a detective is sitting down, sitting down, suddenly he gets this idea wow i didn't check in that direction because she's there and that's happened there and so they're putting things together that's a creative detective and son also represents your father shows that your father was a very skilled person himself father was probably a great um, artist or singer himself now obviously as you know son being a certain nakshatra will determine certain things but especially if like your son is in a Revti Nakshatra, which is the last part of the Pisces sign. This is a Nakshatra of arts, music, singing, dancing, sculpting, writing, and it's the deepest water of spirituality. So Revti especially brings about this great creative person within. But one thing you will realize is that these people become very freckled with their skills. Meaning they want to do 10 different, they want to learn 10 different skills at the same time. Because remember, the fixed sign Lord is in the dual sign, dual nature sign. At one point, they want to play a piano, but then they want to play drums. And then they want to play a trumpet. 
you, this guy wants to be a cameraman, but at the same time, he wants to be a film editor. He wants to get the skills. Then he also wants to do special effects. And now he's just going in this triangle like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do, I do? Well, of course, you can use all these skills. You know, most people will say, well, you need to be skilled in one thing and be perfect at it. Where a Gemini person, you got to know, they're, they're master, of, jack of all trades and master of all trades. They can do everything at the same time. Like, I don't know if you guys ever watched this uh, Indian show, one of the best shows ever called Flop Show uh, by Jaspal Bhatti. I still watch it on YouTube, man. It's just, it's amazing. It's the best comedy. You don't find that in India anymore. Um, just in the beginning title, you'll hear those, them saying, writer, director, pu producer, actor, blah, 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 flop show. So this is that representation where the sun being in the 10th house of Pisces, one just feels like he can do everything at the same time. And especially in the 12th year of your life with the sun, you either 12th or 10th year of your life, you will really start to exuberate that creativity within you. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of sun in the 10th house for Gemini sun and people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your sun is placed, where your other planet replacements are, all my books, consultations, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.